We're now in Chapter 5 about two-digit subtraction. We're going to break apart ones to subtract using mental math. This is 5.1. Breaking apart a number can help us use mental math to subtract. When we break apart a number, we can subtract some of the ones to get a tens number, then subtract the remaining ones to find the difference. So remember, a tens number has zero ones. So tens numbers are like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Those are all tens numbers. And remember, this number is the minuend, this number is the subtrahend, it's what we're subtracting from the minuend, and the answer is called the difference. We can write two addends for a sum. And the top box is the sum, and the two boxes under each sum are the add-ins. So 6 is the sum, and the add-ins are 5 and 1. If 6 is the sum, the add-ins can be 4 and 2, or they could be 3 and 3. We can use 0 as one of the add-ins. The add-ins for 6 could be 6 and 0, and if we reverse their order and do 0 and 6, 6 and 0, 0 and 6 show the same pair of add-ins. So they're the same. We can add in any order, so it's the same pair. And there's a pattern with add-ins. We have 6 is equal to 0 plus 6, or 1 plus 5, 2 plus 4, 3 plus 3. And if you look, as an add-in increases, it's going 0 to 1. The other add-in is decreasing. It's going from 6 to 5. So it's going 0, 1, 2 two, three, but these add-ins are going six, five, four, three. These are going up by one, these are going down by one, and they all equal six. We can break apart the subtrahend, then subtract in two steps. We have 34 minus eight. We start at 34 on this number line, and we subtract four to get to the tens number, 30. Then we subtract four more, and we're at 26. Because there's a four in this ones place, we break apart the eight, so one of the add-ins is a four. And the number line helps us see the subtraction we're doing mentally. We start at 34. We can break eight into a four plus four. We take one of the fours away. Now we're at 30, and we take the other four away. Now we're at 26 it's equal to 26. 34 minus 8 is equal to 26. The minuend minus the subtrahend is equal to the difference. If we have 31 minus 8, the ones digit in this minuend tells us how to break apart the subtrahend 8. It's got a 1, so one of our add-ins is going to be a 1 we break the 8 into a 1 and a 7. If we have 32 minus 8, we have a 2 here, so one of the add-ins is going to be a 2. We have a 2 and a 6. If we have 33 minus 8, now we have a 3 here, one of the add-ins will be a 3, so we have a 3 and a 5. If we have 34 minus 8, we're going to have one of the add-ins as a 4, so we have 4 and 4. If we have 35 minus 8, then one of the add-ins is going to be a 5. We have a 5 and a 3. We're taking enough away from the minuend to make a tens number. Breaking apart a number to subtract will help us subtract using mental math. We have 27 minus 9. We have a 7 here, so one of the add-ins is going to be a 7. So we have a 7 and a 2. And we think 27 minus 7 is 20. Now we're a tens number. Now we do 20 minus this 2. That's equal to 18. That means 27 minus 9 is equal to 18. And we can do this without paper and pencil. We can do this using mental math. Bob has seven fewer cars than Lou. Lou has 23 toy cars. How many toy cars does Bob have? We think seven fewer means seven less. 
we need to find 7 fewer than 23 as 23 minus 7. We break apart the 7 as a 3 and a 4 because there's a 3 in the minuan. We do 23 minus that 3 and we get 20, a tens number. Now we take away the 4 remaining and 20 minus 4 is equal to, do you know? If you said 16, you're right. 23 minus 7 is equal to 16. Bob has 16 cars, toy cars. Sarah made 29 blue bracelets and 23 red bracelets. She sold all but seven of them. How many bracelets did she sell? And we think, sold all but seven means seven were not sold. We need the total made, then take seven away to know what was sold. We can circle our important information. There were 29 and 23. She sold all but seven. We can get the total of 29 and 23. We stack them nicely so they're in their correct place value columns. 9 plus 3 is 9, 10, 11, 12. We regroup a 10 and put the 2 in the 1's place. We add the 10's. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1 more is 5. That means she made 52. So now we need to do 52 minus the 7 that were not sold to know how many she sold. Because there's a 2 here, we can break apart the 7 as a 2 and a 5, then do 52 minus 2 using mental math to get to 50, a nice tens number. Then we think now that we're at 50, we can take that other 5 away. Do you know what it's equal to? If you said 45, you're correct. And remember, we can turn a sheet of lined paper sideways to keep place values in their correct column. That way we keep our ones with our ones and our tens with our tens, and it helps us to get the correct answer. It keeps us from making a mistake. So you can try this. So remember, we're breaking apart the subtrahen. The ones place of the minuhen tells us the addend that we need to take away to get to a tens number first, then we subtract the rest. Our next lesson, 5.2, we're going to break apart two-digit numbers to subtract. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.